Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the ellipsis in R. So it's basically a way to pass any number of optional arguments to an R function. So here I've initialized a vector uh, just containing five character strings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function. I'll just call it my function. And this function is going to take two arguments. It's going to take a vector, which is a required argument, and it's also going to take the ellipsis. So in VS Code, we already get this like syntax highlighting uh, where it recognizes that this ellipsis is like a built-in R, has built-in R functionality. And what it basically is, it allows you to um, provide any number of extra arguments to this function as well as the vector. So let me just build out the rest of this function. It's common practice to pass the optional arguments into a list. Um, we're going to call that list args. So you literally just uh, create a list and inside the parentheses you have you put the ellipsis. And what you basically have now is a list of the optional arguments including in this args variable. It's very important that we use a list here and not a vector because a ve vector can only contain uh, variables of the same type whereas a list can contain variables of different types. And I'll show you why this is important in a minute. So we're just going to build out the rest of this function. Um, we're going to print out the contents of the vector. And here we're just going to print out args, which is the list of optional arguments. So let's run this function. So when we call this function, we're gonna the first argument is gonna be the required argument. So that's the vector. So for us, that's gonna be this uh, this vector called string, which we've already initialized. And after this, we can provide any number of optional arguments. So these don't have to be the same data type. So in this example, I'm gonna provide three optional arguments. Each each of them is gonna be a different data type. So firstly, let's have a number. Secondly, we can provide a boolean, and finally, let's just provide a, another character string. So when we run this, so first of all, it prints out each element of the vector, so that's this part of the function. And then after that, it prints out the, the list of optional arguments. So as we can see here, it's a list of length 3, and we see each of these optional arguments printed out. I'm just going to clear this. So I mentioned it's very important that we uh, initialize this as a list, not a vector. And the reason is, uh, as I mentioned, a list can contain any data type. Um, each element doesn't have to be the same data type. Whereas with a the vector, they do have to be the same data type. So what I'm going to do is just change it to a, a vector quickly and show you what happens uh, when we call the function now. So what happens this time is each argument, because it's a vector and they have to be the same data type, they get converted to a string. So the number and the boolean have both been converted to character strings. So that's just a, a tip to make sure you're initializing it as a list, not a vector. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear this. So another thing we can do with the ellipsis is pass arguments from one function into another function. And let me just demonstrate that now to make it clearer. So we're going to use the built-in R function square root. So that's square root. So what we're doing here is basically we're taking um, arguments into the function that we've created called my function, and then we're passing them to another function which is inside of our function. And you can do this iteratively. So let's just assign this to a variable and we'll print the variable. So when we call our function now and we provide a, a number, let's say four, it should provide us the square root of that number. Um, an important thing I should say here is that by default, 
the square root function can only take one argument at a time. So we couldn't provide multiple numbers here because we get this error. So two, two arguments pass to the, to the square root function. However, um, you can provide another function here that can take many arguments, so unlimited arguments in theory. And so what that does, it then passes uh, each of the optional arguments into, a into the next function. So in this scenario, if we want to show the square root of many numbers, we'd basically have to uh, create a loop here. So again, we'd, we'd go args equals a list. And then we could create a simple for loop to print out the square root of each number supplied. Like so, and then if we just initialize this function or call it, now if we provide multiple numbers, we should we should be able to print out the square root of each of them separately. Yep, so there we go. Okay, so that's just a basic overview of how to use the ellipsis in R. If you have any questions related to today's video, just drop a comment below and I'll get back to you. So on that note, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.